Hey, what's going on, fam jam? We're in my bus. Does it look like a school bus? It's still mostly a school bus. Um, so we're going to muse a little bit, mostly about the bus. Uh, we're not going to get into the functions yet because I want to be able to do that really well, which I don't have the time for right now because uh, I'm really focused on this. In about a week, things should hopefully free up. Maybe, but we'll see. Uh, so I just kind of want to talk about my plan for the bus. Um, so. I've started to kind of lay things out and this is kind of how it goes. So obviously that's the front cabin, okay, excuse the mass. Uh, that's where I go when I'm driving, you know, obviously. And then uh, immediately behind it is this lovely little sofa which folds down into a couch. So there you go, that's uh, where I will be laying my head at night uh, if I'm not in my hammock, which is another thing. So uh, I've left one original seat in. Right now it's covered in tools. Um, one seat, I'm going to put some seat belts on there for passengers and the like. And then, uh, so this big empty space that we're looking at right here between this empty seat and this seat right here is going to be my like office workspace chill space all that stuff that i like to do so we're going to mount the tv to the wall um and put the desk underneath of it and uh cool thing about this uh this wall mount that i just bought uh today it was ridiculously cheap um is it's full motion so i'll be able to pull it out turn it so that you know you can see it more forwards or turn it more to the back and then maybe catch it from the dinette maybe i should move the dinette to the other side anyways so the seat that we alluded to earlier is actually a dinette um and so here's a table that i pulled out of that other rv along with um all of the the, the seat cushions that go with it and so this will be able to fold down into a bed um, for for another person. So then that gives us two to four, depending on how comfortable you are, um, plus the hammock. Oh. Plus the hammock gives us room for uh, up to five sleepers, maybe, if you're really comfortable. Probably more like three. So it's not too much. This, this is mostly designed to be my home, not a place for people to come and sleep. So. Uh, and then in this lovely mess right here, um, we're going to put the kitchen space. And so that's right across from the dinette. So then that will kind of form the whole kitchen. So I'm going to take up most of this space. And uh, I haven't really blocked it in too much yet. But this says fridge. So I'm going to put the fridge right here, which makes it nice easy access while you're on the dinette, as well as easy access when you're over here, uh, which will be nice. You know, it's a fairly centralized location. It's also between the wheels, so it will be uh, more stable than the rest of the bus. So then over here, we're going to put, uh, I think the configuration of the kitchen, I haven't quite designed it yet, but I think the configuration is going to be a little piece of counter, a little piece of counter, and then we'll put uh, the sink, and then little piece of counter and then the stove and the oven or maybe we'll put the sink here and the stove and the oven over there I don't know I haven't really decided yet and then another little piece of counter right here so most of my bus will actually be taken up by kitchen because <laughs> I like to cook so uh, and then and then in this back section so then right here we've blocked out on the roof this is where the heads gonna go shower so that I can stand underneath of it. Once I take my shoes off, my head doesn't hit the roof anymore. Um, put the shower right here, and then and then and then the head is actually gonna sit right on top of the wheel well. I'll probably go in and like just sit right there for your business. And then uh, this back section here that is currently filled with these stupid chairs. 
uh, is going to be a garage slash workshop. I'm going to wait for this plane to go by. It's probably noisy. So, what's going on with you guys? Huh? Uh, if you like this, you know, follow me. I'm going to be documenting the whole journey. If I remember to. But anyways. So then we'll probably put storage over there, the wheel well, or something like that. But anyways, yeah, so the, the, the back, uh, not quite 10 feet, will be a uh, garage workshop. I mean, not really a garage, but like a workshop. So I'll probably put like my heavy duty shelving in here and, uh, and, and tool storage and a workbench. And then I want to be able to be able to just go right out the back door and have like a workbench that folds down off the back of the bus. So then I can uh, do cool things there. And then yeah, all these, these seats. So that's the bus. Uh, thank you for joining me for this very, very short, uh, quick and easy musings for Monday. So again, if you like this, subscribe. If you don't, subscribe anyways and comment. Tell me why you don't like it. And I, I won't accommodate to your needs. Well, I won't accommodate to your wants, I should say. Your needs, maybe. I digress. Love y'all. Have a great evening. Day? Yeah, have a great day.